Hello, this is Loke. Welcome back to another update video. This is update 0.51. Let's take a look at what's new. First, a bunch of new props. Here you go. Here are the new props for this update. First one is a curtain, a colorable one that you can change the color of this curtain to anything that you want. Right, like that. Great for vision barriers and stuff like that. We also have mini CMA targets. So these are all the 50% half size competitive marksman action targets. Also, somebody requested for bullet traps that don't have a stand. So they, uh, I think, I believe most of the clubs that are indoor or have like walls along the side, uh, they put this up so that uh, the bullets don't strike the wall. And the last uh, new prop is this single clay swinger. So this one is very simple. It basically swings the clay. If you put a, uh, sorry, a popper here, and if you connect the popper to this, and then when you go to simulation mode, and you shoot the popper, it start to swing, and then. You can shoot it. Yeah, that's a simple one. So I hope you like that prop. Along with some of the bug fixes, there are three new functionalities. One is the IDPA uh, written stage briefing page two. So if you go over to stage briefing and if you select IDPA, sorry. Uh, now page two has all this additional information that it did not have. Like for instance, scenario, start position, stage procedure and so forth. So it's, it's a more long form, single page description that is kind of mapping what this thing here is, but in a WSB format. Second one is now you can convert targets across multiple disciplines. Uh, so what I used to have was the ability to convert USBSA to IPSC, IPSC back to USBSA. But now with a new utility, you can convert to IDPA and I-Core as well. So let me bring out an old stage. So this, uh, this is a stage I built called Proportionalism for a match in Renton. And so as you can see, this is all USBSA targets, right? With uh, the hard covers. And so if I hit B now to convert, you can choose to convert to IPSC, I-Core, or IDPA. So let's say I want to convert to IDPA. I can just click on this and hit convert. It will do a scan and tell you which targets can be converted. Not all targets can be converted, unfortunately, uh, but most of the major ones like, you know, on a stand, short, uh, hard covers, those kind of things you can convert. The difficult ones to convert are the complex uh, moving targets, you know, like certain complicated swingers and stuff like that. So it doesn't have an error right now, so you can click, click yes. And now you see all the targets are now converted to uh, IDPA. Yeah. And now if you want to convert it back to something else, maybe it's convert to IPSC, convert. Now you see everything is converted to IPSC. There might be some minor modifications if you, like some of the hard covers might be off position a little bit that you might have to go back in and adjust. But apart from that, uh, I think this is a pretty handy tool. Uh, so let me show you uh, one that has an error. So let's go over to uh, maybe iCore. Yeah, so if you go to iCore, it says that the hardcover right slant, hardcover left slant doesn't exist in iCore. Um, the tux on stand for some reason doesn't exist. And so these are the things that you cannot convert and it'll tell you whether you want to proceed or not. If you say no, that's fine. But if you proceed, it'll tell you these are the things that they could not convert into iCore. Let me know if you uh, want to see certain targets to be converted that does not exist, please do let me know and I'll make sure that the tool does it for you. Clear, I'm gonna show you one last one. One, I think this is pretty cool. So this has been hounding me for the longest time, but I think I've, I remember seeing a bunch of requests from you about placing hard covers on target. So let's say if I drop a USB-C target here and let's say I rotate this target, maybe like 45 degrees, right? And traditionally, if you want to put a hard cover in this, you actually have to uh, have it straight on first, put the hard cover and then group the whole thing and then rotate the, the target, right? It's a little bit convoluted. But now if I take a, uh, let's say, a tux target, now if I just drop it here, you see that it's properly aligned uh, to the target's orientation, right? So this will hopefully help you place hard cover targets on targets like this. So let's say I do one facing this way and maybe I drop a um, maybe a slant like that, right? So then you can very easily position uh, like that. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it will only work on on uh, what I call paper modifiers, right? These are all classified as paper, paper modifiers. So things like the hot covers, things like no shoot fragments like this. Uh, and also uh, for most disciplines, like all of this, even single paper targets without stand, all this will act that way as well. Uh, IDPA, you have all your hard covers, and then PCSL, you have all your hard covers as well. Single targets like this without stand. Uh, ISMOC, nope. Uh, and then iCore, yeah, you have iCore as well. Yeah. 
So this will all work uh, for you now and I hope you like that. So that's all I have for you on update point five one. I hope you like it. Please give me feedback. Again, if you know where to give feedback, just go file and provide feedback over here. Or the best way is to go and join our Discord server. The link to the Discord server is, is in the YouTube description below. I'd like to take the opportunity to continue to thank my Patreon subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. Your support goes a long way to help me improve this tool. If you're interested to become a patron, uh, some of the benefits are you have a very quick response from me. You can reach out and talk to me about anything about stage design or even the use of the tool. Uh, I'll even create 3D props, custom props for you if you want to, to be included into the tool. So if you're interested to become a Patreon subscriber, just visit this link. That's all I have for you. Have a great weekend. Wishing you lots of alphas and I'll see you on the range.